The Mao Forest spans a range of 650,000 acres and is the country's main water tower acting as the main source of the river Ewasunyiro, Njoro, Sundu and the Great River Mara. However, the forest has for the past decade been subject to heated political debate following a directive to evict families living in the forest to conserve the ecosystem. Close to 6,000 people have since been evicted from the forest. And as the country edges closer to the ballot, legislators from the region are alleging a plot to issue title deeds to some of those evicted. And we shall not accept roadside declarations on matters that are very, very um, grave, of, of great concern to the people of this country. Uh, we must follow the law. Uh, as leaders from Narok, we are saying we are giving the government uh, seven days um, to retract those statements and those threats uh, to issue uh, uh, title deeds uh, on a land where there's a caveat and where we know the land actually belongs to the community. Meanwhile, a section of losers in the just concluded Jubilee Party nominations who have secured tickets to vie as independent candidates in the Embu County are now aligning themselves with Mayandeleo Chap Chap while declaring support for President Uhuru Kenyatta. Mayandeleo Chap Chap Party point man in Embu, Senator Lenny Kivitu received at least 20 aspirants, mostly MCAs from Runyenges, Manyata, Mbere North and South constituencies, declaring that they will conduct door-to-door -door campaigns for the president. Watu wengi walikuwa nasema sisi tuko NASA. Lakini leo mimi niko hapa kuwahakikishia sisi sio wa chama kingine chochote. Sisi raisi wetu ni raisi Uhuru Moigai Kenyatta. Huyo ndiye raisi wetu, ndiye tunayeunga mkono na tunajua bila shaka tukiwa na wazee, tukiwa na wamama, tukiwa na vijana Raisi wetu atakuwa ndani ya ikulu tarehe nane, mwezi wa nane, mwaka huu, bila kupingwa. For Channel One Last Time News, I'm Vitalis Nyagul.